Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Striga video. Um, this one's going to be more of the um, analysis style so I can like mo move my mouse, like pause the video to explain things. Um, I saw this from watching um, some of Dolby's videos and I wanted to try it out. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be against, against um, Carl Moni. Um, about the same ELO as um, this account. I am um, Silver Sergeant. Of course, you didn't know Sergeant is my favorite strategic piece. That's hence why my channel is named, named after it. But yeah, this guy's a um, Silver Miner. This looks to be some, some sort of a shuffler. As he's m m moving a lot of pieces in the center, but like or over here, all these pieces, he, he's m m moving them, but he's just, he's just like moving them from side to side and not, not really doing anything with them. So he takes my captain, I mean, attacks my captain with that sergeant there, which is pretty nice. Pick up that. In this game, I, I think I play pretty defensively. So it looks like he's going to try to trap my captain. I don't, so, here, so, she's trapping it with these two pieces. And so which one do you think is good? Wh which one of these two? So, I... I debate which which one's better with my captain. I think this one's a major because he brought it out first to um capture it. So I think this one could be the general or the marshal. So I debate hitting down. I think I and I think I end up moving over, thinking that's um the um piece that, that I'd like to have info for, and that that's a colonel. So I th I'm thinking that that other thing's a major, but I don't actually know. So since so since he didn't move it, makes me makes me think it's probably garbage now. But who knows? So yeah, so it's unfortunately it's minor. So this guy, um, even though I did lose a captain, um, I did get some decent info, which is that this guy is a, a bluffer. You know, he knows how to bluff, which is I guess pretty good info. So we know the um. So yeah, so now he's, he's going to continue to shuffle in the um, center. Okay, this is just shuffling, so I'm 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 just gonna skip this. Okay, so he's so he's moving out that piece on the right. He's not gonna attack the so. Okay, continue skipping. Okay, so just 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 a little recap. This is the um colonel, and this is the um, minor, I believe. So he attacks my sergeant with a um attacks my lieutenant, sorry, with a um sergeant, which is good. So even though I'm down a captain, I am up a lot of um other pieces, but a lot of lo lower pieces. So we we find the marshal. So that that wasn't my, that wasn't the minor. My bad. I think we took it. So we know, we know the marshal now, and I'm totally fine giving a captain info for the marshal. I think that's actually a better better trade for me. So now I know that I know that like all these pieces over here have moved. So I can start bringing my, my gen down and just just hitting them all of them because I know colonel, I know marshal, so that I can just start plowing through all these pieces with my general. So yeah, you can soon see I'm bringing it up now. I'm I'm just gonna start getting a lot of pieces. I'm hoping for at least one one captain. So I'm not down to captain, down two captains anymore. I get a, get a scout. That's fine because I'm, because it's not going to change the fact that I'm just going to plow through everything here. I'm going to go um left for the miner because I'm pretty sure this is a scout trying to find out what my marshal is. So I hit that and I was right. It is a scout. So that was a pr pr pretty nice um read on my, on my part. I think. So now I continue just going with my gen. We find another scout. That's pretty unfortunate. Any trades? So I'm thinking general. This is probably the spy. So I go ahead and scout it, and it is. So that was a um. I think that was a pr pretty nice move on my end. And we, then we we find another miner. So we know marshal, we know colonel, and we know that that there's no spy. So I'm trying to bluff this this Lugi as my as my marshal. So I'm trying to draw his marshal over to the center. Like I'm trying to draw his marshal over here with like one of the, one of these pieces, so I, I can bring my marshal up to the left and capture this colonel. So that's my um goal right now. So I try to bluff that, but he's he's having none of that, so he trades. I can't. So I was I was waiting bluff, bluffing with, with this scout, but I, but I realized that it wouldn't do do me any good because it's a front front piece. So we we find a major there, which is very good info. So at this point, we know major marshal colonel and um minor. So that's obviously garbage. But I'm okay with that. Or maybe it could, it might be a colonel. I'm not sure. He defends that, which is exactly what I want. So now I can bring my marshal up the, up the left and see if I can get this colonel. So yeah, so that was, that was pretty unfortunate.
but at least at least we, we, we got a scout, right? <laughs> I should have I should have brought up a bluff looking back at this, so I can fork those because they both um moved. So I get to attack right, so I, I I get that minor. So that so this is yes, yeah, so this is the uh, major. So he he's ready f with the trade there. So I kind of blew my chances um by bluffing. I mean by by, by not bluffing the marshal. I I should have bluffed this. I, I don't know what I was thinking really. So yeah, mar uh, so yeah, major marshal colonel. Yeah, I think if I w if I would have bluffed my marshal, I would have won the game. So I think that that's a scout to the left of my um sergeant. Cause I'm bluffing it as my um, colonel, so I think I hit left. Yeah, minor. So that's very nice. That that is the third minor. So I was bringing my marshal over. I mean his marshal over to my marshal. So here I debate like what should I do with, with my sergeant? Like I could lotto, but um, see I, I could lotto there and then. I'm like, wait, I, I can just put his marshal here and bring my marshal back. So, he, so yeah, he can't trap that, or his marshal's gonna get taken. No, no, sorry, or his colonel's gonna get taken. And that tells me that this is a bomb, because he he, he would he would just hit me with this and get on the diagonal with the colonel. He's he, he's not not doing that. So, yeah, so I, I could lotto with it, but he's trying. He, he's kind of like kind of like um telling telling me, me to lotto. So when he uh, th threatened it like by, by going down, I could have gone up and, and like lotted over here. But the issue is, even though I could have gotten a minor, every piece counts. Like as you can see, I'm down two captains, so I need like all the lower pieces that I can get in this game. So I, I just didn't want want to take that risk, even though it's just a sergeant. Um, I, I have to save my, my lower pieces because I am down. So that was that was my logic my logic behind that. So we know that major in the um on the center, the marshal is catty corner to my marshal, and then his colonel is above that. So yeah, marshal, colonel, and major. And that's probably a minor of sorts. Might be, might be like lieutenant, but or could, could be just a scout. Who knows? So I bring, bring up my colonel. I think it's about time now. And I think I'm thinking that piece. Uh, you know, I'll, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that piece. It, it very well could be a back row major, to be honest, tr trying to get that lieutenant. So I think this guy's one one of the players who's um very obvious with their high pieces. Because um because I, I can see how he's bringing up like my majors and everything, so I should not have done that. That's just I here I was like acting too cocky with this colonel because I was like, oh my gosh, like free pieces, right? So I just I just let let him take my sergeant there. I should not have done that. I should have brought my major up and like threatened it so I can bring my colonel up here. But I was like really happy to get, to get my colonel over there because I know Marshall Colonel and, and he can't just bring this in back back in time. So I have this trapped, which is pretty nice. But I, I don't decide because I I can just go back and trap it whenever I want. So he's got that. That's fine. I can fork these two. Uh, yep, I go ahead and do that. Obviously gonna move, move away with with the major, so I can attack this. Fourth miners, fourth miners. So he only has one one, one miner left, which is excellent because. Because now, if I, if I get the last minor, then I don't have to worry about my flag at all, which lets me um go on the offensive much more. So I, as I move move this up to get on the, the diagonal, because now now he can't capture this with the two square rule. So just that that was the move I was kind of dreading him doing. Thankfully, this, this major hasn't moved yet. So, so, so I just run this back, but but now his colonel is unpinned. Was, yeah, so he's gonna go ahead and try a trade, which is not very good. But I can trap his lieutenant, so that's something at least. But if he's smart, he he can also move his colonel over and trap my, my lieutenant, because he either, because he probably assumes that that some of these are bombs. See, so yeah, I go ahead and get his lieutenant, which is pretty nice. He goes down there, so I'll just go, go colonel down. And yeah, yeah so we, we can get a free, free lieutenant. He, he attacks my major, which makes sense. Then I go left. And the reason I couldn't go up is because if I went up, he he would go down. Threaten my major. I'd have to go left, and then that he, he would just, just go over here, trap my uh, get my minor, and get my um, lieutenant, and that's that. That's just not good. So, that, so that's why I didn't go up there. So at this point, I'm down two captains, but I am up a lieutenant, a sergeant, and four miners, and two scouts, and the spy. So 
th threatens the marshal. I, I I have three squares, so I'll be fine. So, I, so yeah, I, I can just th three square that piece. That's totally fine. He threatens my major, so he's probably gonna force some tra traded majors. So basically, the game plan here: I, I need to get one captain, and then the game's easily winnable for me because I am up a lot of miners or low pieces. So also, if I get his last miner, then I'll be in a very good shape in this game. So it looks like he has major there, so he trades majors. That was good because that major would have been a target. So, so yeah, that's good. So we know. Probable major, we know Marshall. Oh, actually, no, this is a no major. Sorry, we, we know Marshall, and I'm guessing that the last piece he moves is going to be his other major, because this guy's the, the type of player who just brings out all of his high pieces. So the reason I don't go right here, because then he can just go down and trap me with his Marshall. So yeah, I don't, I don't find over here because I have my spy and my major and my lieutenant. So he's coming down here. He can't do anything because this captain it hasn't moved. I have my spy here, so. So I'll be I'll be fine. Interesting how, how he doesn't want, want to move next to that captain. I mean, maybe he thinks it's a bomb. I don't know. He might, he might think it's the spy, even though that's it's obviously not. But who knows? He, he might he might think that it is. So that piece coming down, it's probably a minor. That would be excellent because that is that be the last minor. Down I and I hit it. So it's it's on the scout a scout unfortunately, but. My martial was, was pretty obvious, and it's the seventh scout, so it could be worse. So right now, so where, where do you think the flag is? So he just moved this piece out. His martial is here, which is which is on this half of the board, and over here, the only a few, a few pieces. So keep in mind, martial spawned over here, Jen spawned over here, and the center is completely cleared out. So his flag is obviously in the middle of here, and this is like, it's like open here. So, it's probably not in the corner here because that's like he wouldn't he doesn't really have anything like like, like on these um twelve squares to guard it. So I'm thinking it slags either here or here or here bombed in. So that's what I'm thinking at this point. So if he's that minor, I assume that I mean if he's a bomb, sorry, I assume there's a sergeant behind it. There's actually a lieutenant behind it. So at this point, where do you think where do you think the flag is? It could be here open. It could be bomb 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 flag it can be bomb 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 flag or it could be something um, something else so yeah so we, we, we know that lieutenant which is good i mean it's whatever it's better info than, than a sergeant at least because when you defuse bombs you typically come across sergeants so here i don't know why i, I bring this major up to trade so that that's good we, we find the last scout and that and that's important because after he's out of scouts he only has one minor left, then it's going to be difficult for him to find out pieces. So I realize this, and, and I, um, so now I have to make, make my pieces less obvious. So then, um, he'll have to, like, I have to guess because he won't, he won't have that many l l lower pieces. So I found a bomb here. There, there's a bomb here, so I'm thinking that might be some sort of symmetrical setup, like bomb, 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 bomb. So yeah, that that's what I'm thinking after I find that bomb. Alright, so I exchange majors with him. It's whatever. I couldn't really do anything else. So I, I'm at this point. I'm just trying to get rid of my mo moving pieces. So I, ta I um think I I, th I might want to bring a scout up. Okay, so this move, this move. So I was thinking about bringing a scout up, but then I realized that this is my only mo moving piece, other than than, than my, my marshal, of course. I don't want to create create more targets for him. So moving this out, that makes, makes me think the flag is definitely not on this on this area. So it's definitely over here somewhere. And that's what lo lower players sometimes do. They sometimes, sometimes make their the location of their flag um very obvious. And you never want to do that because even if you're up material, your opponent could get your flag. Like it's part of the game, and I think a lot, a lot of lower players um try to win on material, so they don't worry about the flag being captured. I just get because I was thinking for some time there. So, bringing out this piece, it could be his last minor. I really hope it's his last minor because then I wouldn't have to worry about my flag. So that's good. Um, so we're gonna tra exchange scouts, which is totally fine with me because now he is out of scouts and he only he only has one minor, and then he has sergeants, which is um excellent for me because it's gonna be difficult for him to find out pieces. So j just a little recap. This is most likely a major. This is um. 
the marshal, this is a lieutenant, and uh, this is a bomb. So that's what we know at this point in the, in the game. So it's odd that he's bringing his captain over, even though this lieutenant is known, and I could and I and I could um just pin a captain and a lieutenant with with the scout, which is excellent. So now I bring my major up. So yeah, he's bringing out pieces here, but which, which makes me makes me think even less that the flag's over there. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's confirmed on the left, unless it's like some obscure second row flag nonsense <laughs> or third third row rather. But that that would just just be weird. So I bring that up, even though it's probably a major, and that's. I, so that was interesting, so it was a sergeant. So I mean, I'm not complaining about that. So we, we had a sergeant, um... So that's really good, so I'm, I'm just I'm expanding my lead of, of lower pieces. It's really good here, I'm, I'm capturing, I'm, I'm trapping a captain and a, um... I believe this is a captain, it might be a major, I'm a captain. And a, um, lieutenant here with a scout. That, that, that's excellent. So I go over here, and I can fork. He gets using this piece, minor. Okay, so that's his last minor. So now his only hope of um, winning is to capture all of my pieces. Oh, and, and that also tells me if he's willing to save this piece over his last minor, it's it, it's a captain. It's most definitely a captain. So he brings that over. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that that's, that's major, not not a captain. So that was my, that was my bad. So here, there's not there's not really much I can do. You know, he's he's probably gonna want to exchange majors, and I'm not gonna let him obviously because I end that material. Yeah, the problem is that he still has all four of his captains, and I, and I and I don't know them all. That's the problem. So I'm bringing mine up because I'm pretty sure this is a bomb. I want to see what's behind it. Yeah, brings his, his major next to mine. I'm I'm obviously not not gonna trade that because I because I am down material. She threatens my major to um, well not threatens but like um wants to tr wants to trade it and I'm not gonna let him. I am a two square so it so it'll be fine. I wanna trap this captain with a marshal but it has to go over one more, and then still I, I, won't, I won't be able to trap it. So moving moving this piece, that's interesting. So this rules out this as a flag spot unless it's, it's open of course. So I'm thinking it's bombed in here. Like, bomb 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 flag. So that's 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 obviously a captain that is that is moving down. See here, I was thinking, and uh, and here I'm not I'm not not really sure what to do, you know, because. Marshals are pinning, pinning my marshal and majors pinning my major, so there's not not really much to do. <laughs> so he goes there. I'm worried that that's gonna go up and force a a major exchange, which is which will be very very bad for me. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he will. So I decided instead of staging. I, I'm I'm just gonna go up because because then I can go right and I'll be on two square. I mean sorry, not two square. I'm all three square. So so I, I hover over this piece because I'm thinking that it's probably not a bomb and that I can hit it. So yeah, look, looks like so at this point I realized that he doesn't he doesn't really really want to trade majors if he can just trap my major with his major. So that piece that this this really annoyed me that that this can move. Because I, mean, I, I was really convinced it was a was like like a double horizontal bomb, but I guess it wasn't. So that's pretty unfortunate, especially if that was a captain that could have just hit it and won the game. But I I'm I'm not a lot of that that's not my play style. So that's pretty pretty unfortunate. Um, that scout is toast anyhow. But I, but I move it up. I'm pretty sure I move it up because I because. There's probably another, another captain lurking in there because he wouldn't just let me get a free lieutenant. So yeah, look, looks like there is. So at this point, we know captain, likely captain, major, marshal, and then probably may, maybe both these are captains, but I'm not sure yet. So this is not not looking very good because I don't really have much to do in the, like 
much that I can do in this game. I'm kind of like pinned on all fronts. So his, his marshal is pinning my marshal. His major is pinning my major, and then he's, he's up to captain. So this is not good. Only thing I have going for me is that I do have all the scouts in miners. And they do have one scout on their own in case I like I'm open his flag up. So here I go left with my marshal and I keep in mind this is his, his marshal. So why might I not want to go up? Just, just, just think about that. Why would, would, would going up be a bad idea? Because like I could just hit, hit all these pieces because then he's, I mean, he's, he's kind of pinned here. Because if, if I go up and then he'll, he'll just go over and my marshal will be trapped. And if my marshal and major are trapped then that's just bad because I'm down two captains and whenever I move it's going to get trapped. So I decided I'd rather just, just move back. And it looks like he is gonna stay on me, which is, I mean, that's 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 what what he should be doing. So there's not much that like I can do to, to progress the game, and he's just gonna trap all my pieces with his um two two captain lead, which is a big problem right now. So that miner on the left is gonna be gone to his captains. So I move my captain to um uh, um avoid exchanging I mean avoid getting my minor trapped, even though he's probably just gonna bring down another captain because he he still has three three more well two more minus one um that's that's currently pinning pinning my minor. So I kind of just 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 kind of stalling for time, delaying the inevitable at this point. So I bring my spy out because he doesn't have any like miners or scouts. So I might be able to get, to get something to work with that, even though the spy is pretty obvious because it was guarding my um, mar um my general and a colonel. So I just do that. Now I'm thinking that maybe I can get like, get my marshal behind my spy, like this, because his marshal marshal can't, can't come down or my spy will get it. But at this point, it's it's, it's not looking good. I guess it's the state of things. So he's going to threaten my spy. So it's probably a captain. He probably thinks it, 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 he may think it's a captain. So I have to trade off because there's nothing else that, that, that I can really do at this point. But I think I am doing a good job of keeping a minimal moving pieces though because only pieces I have moved are this minor, this spy, the marshal, and the major. Which isn't, it's, I mean, that's, that, that, that's not bad. Actually, no, I think that this this the ten has moved. Yeah, 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 it has. Cause this this was was a major to start. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was. So yeah, I don't really know what to do here because I, I don't have any captains left, and he still has two. So I'm thinking that if he ca if he traps this with captains, then I might have a chance to get like 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 one of these pieces with my Louis. So yeah, see, so yeah, I take the minor with captains. I'm not sure. Um. Tell me if in the comments if that, if that was avoidable or not. I don't. I don't think it was, but it it might have been. So, so keep in mind this is a bomb. So I get a piece, but it's just a lieutenant. So I kind of I really don't don't get a piece. This is bad. He's just he's just kind of. So this captain is actually it's very well placed trip because it's pinning off all of these pieces from moving, which is a significant portion of my um remaining pieces. At this point, I I know his flags bombed in here. It's bomb, 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 flag, lieutenant. But then it makes you wonder, where's the sergeant? And then also, think about this. There is a bomb here. There was a um bomb. This is a bomb. Well, I assume. And this is a bomb. And this is a bomb. That's one, two, three, four bombs. Sorry, here. So then the flag... It's probably open, right? Because he can't bomb it in here. It's not in the corner because this, this is a lieutenant, and that, and we, we know that. So it might be open. But at that point in the game, I, I don't think about that because I'm not entirely convinced that this, this is a bomb. Yet. So I, here, I decided to just just screw it, tr trade everything off. So I tra trade off majors. I trade off marshals, and now. 
at this point in the game, my plan is to um somehow draw his captains over with like a scout or a miner, and then run a miner up to the left and get his flag. So th that's my current plan. And if I get any lieutenants trapped, then I kind of just lose. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to hope that doesn't happen. So he lets my my spy scout a piece, which is pretty interesting. So this guy um isn't really good at trapping pieces, but I I mess up there. I should have moved it um when I was here. Um, and he was like here, I think, or here. I should have moved it up and scouted this piece because I, I want to see if, if that was a bomb or not. But unfortunately, I, I kind of mess up there. So that's unfortunate. But I can lure his captain with my spy, which is exactly what what I'm trying to do here. So he's trapping it, which is very good. I should not have moved that lieutenant up. Yeah, and also going up there, that was that was a blunder. I should have gone left, because then I'll be on the diagonal. But now he he was left, and I realized this, that that's not a good that, that's not good. And that's that's my last lieutenant. At this point, he goes down there, um, which is interesting. He should, I was obviously trying to trap this, and I can't avoid that, so I just um, go over with, with with my spy and try to scout one of these two pieces, well, this piece to see if it is, um, indeed a bomb. So, this is really bad, like, this, this lieutenant is gonna, is gonna get trapped, and, and I know this one's gonna be next. So I use my, I use my spy to, um, confirm that, that the flag is either here or here. Um, at that at this current point in the game, I didn't look at the graveyard. You, you always want to check the graveyard to see like the bombs and all, and all the pieces and where you stand. Because because if I would have checked it, then I would have known that his flag it can't be bombed in um over there. It it, it is open because again we know lieutenant he only has two bombs, so his flag is not bombed in. So I should have um recognized that. So yeah, bring bring up this miner. See if I can see if I can get it from here. He's just focusing on trapping my lieutenant, which is very, very bad. So, so yeah, the lieutenant, it, it's gone. I really hope, he, I really wish he moved that one down, because then I could have gotten gone up easily, but there's not, not much I can do at this point. So I'm just going to let him capture it, because I, I can't save it. So yeah, that's very bad. So I'm not sure if, if I could have prevented that. I probably could have by like by like moving a different piece. So he's going up. He can't beat me though. So at this point, I I don't know if like his flag is not here because he could have easily brought the, brought this captain back up. So now I'm thinking his flag might not be here. So if we find that bomb, so, so do you think it's the flag right, right here? It could be, but no. So it's a sergeant. So. Now we know sergeant, so I know all his pieces now. So we know bomb, bomb, captain, captain, bomb, bomb, lieutenant. This is the, this is the flag because who has a third row flag? So I know this is this is the flag. But the issue is, if he traps this lieutenant over here, then I have to somehow bring up a sergeant to here, exchange, and then bring the scout to, like um up to here and scout it. So that's. It's not good, so I bring my my scout up over here as like no, I should bring a miner up. I don't even know what I do at this point. So I keep moving my lieutenant, I guess. No, so I do I bring my scout up. So, my, so the plan with the scout is just to somehow do divert everything. But he he's smart. He still knows that by looking at the graveyard that I still have a scout left, and he's he's not he's not not gonna leave that. He's not gonna move that sergeant. So what I'm hoping is that. He traps my um, scout, so then my, my, my lieutenant can go up, take the sergeant, and get the flag. So this moving next to it, enforcing again that this is the flag, because he's a sergeant and a lieutenant ne next to it. So yeah, I, I really want to either tra trade lieutenants or trade sergeants over here to make it um nearly impossible ever from to, to, to defend the flag because he only has these four pieces left. 
So if I can like exchange anything at this point, I can easily win the game. Because he has to keep um, two pieces posted around the flag, so then I can't um, scout it. And then one of those would have to be captain, and then it would just be very easy for me, for me to win. But unfortunately, he's, he's painting this lieutenant with the captain here. And this is bad. So if my lieutenant and like sergeant were switched, then that would be so good, because I, I could just run up here, exchange lieutenants, and then bring the scout to here. Of course, after this um, captain moves. So at this point in the game, I don't I don't really have that that much hope. I think this is it's it's gonna be over because you can just tra trap my lieutenant, and then I'm basically over <laughs> because I can't get the sergeant up here to trade because the the captain's over here, and I, and I can't. There's no way for, for me to for me to tra trade lieutenants over here because his captain's obviously pinning my my, my lieutenant. So it looks like he's bringing it around and trapping my lieutenant, which is just not not good, not good at all. And bring this over, we're gonna trap this. So yeah, this is gonna be the end of the game for me. I'm I'm thinking as I'm playing this, but you you, you never want to give up because there, there there's like a, there's a small chance that you could win if your opponent makes a mistake. So yeah, let's see how the rest of this game plays out. So, so I'm making sure that he can't fork my um, scout and um, sergeant here. Because th because losing a piece for no reason, like a fork, that, that that's just bad way to lose a piece. So I go over there, even though I'm, I'm just hoping that he won't follow me, and he doesn't, cause, because he's attacking these pieces over here. But I, I have three square with his scout here, so I'll, I'll be fine on that front. But... He's just gonna go over and trap my lieutenant. And that's basically gonna be game. So I move up, just trying to kind of waste his. And I actually move over. So here I'm trying to like go down here, but he, he won't let me. So I'm, I'm trying to like waste his, his moves over here, or I'm just gonna make a mistake, like like and, like not not stay on me, but he does. So then I can I can like take 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 the sergeant and get the flag. But yeah, he he's just just, just gonna trap that. There's not, not not gonna be much I can do. So yeah, he he goes up, I go up, and he's that. So this, so why why do you think this is a bad move? So just just to recap, um, bomb bomb, captain captain, bomb lieutenant, bomb sergeant, flag. So he went up here. He should have gone up here and then up here. So he would, he would have captured this. But I said he went up here. Like why? Like now I can just go left. And I, and, I, and I can just just take the sergeant and go straight straight to the flag. So that, this guy had the game in the bag, but he he just threw it. Like he just threw the game. That was a very large error. So yeah, we we take the sergeant there, and then he goes down probably trying to um like like not not get us to lotto. But of course we're gonna hit this because I know it's the flag. So there we go. So we 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 find the flag in here and like. I, I I am so I am so shocked that I won this game like that like that was an insane win so now so now what like so now where's silver lieutenant like like that's that's pretty good because I think my best account is a silver captain so yeah this game was it showed that you, you should you should never give up even if you're, even if you're down a lot of um pieces and it shows that, that everyone's human and that everyone makes mistakes um so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.